Are you tired of trying to constantly find people to help you either film your photo shoots or film all of your social media content? Whether it's shooting B-roll for a YouTube video or filming yourself taking photos for a TikTok, dynamically filming yourself has always been one of the biggest challenges a creator will face. However, I have found a solution that I use to capture a lot of my B-roll when I have no one around to help me, and I figured I'd share it with you today and see if it'll help any of you as well. So in today's video, I'm going to present my case as to why I think every photographer needs this relatively inexpensive and compact camera in their backpack with them at all times. Now, let's dive into the world of 360 cameras, a compact device with two large lenses, one on either side. Traditionally, these cameras capture immersive 360 degree type content, capturing an entire scene and allowing the viewer to fully immerse themselves within it. However, for today's video, we are not going to be doing that at all. With the technique that I'm about to share with you, we're actually going to be using this camera in a completely new and unique way. And it is going to make your life infinite easier. So I got my first 360 camera a few years ago and initially I honestly thought it wasn't that intriguing. Like I love new technology but how often will I be shooting virtual reality videos or house tours? Then one day I faced a unique problem. I needed to capture footage of me shooting a photo shoot for a YouTube video. I needed B-roll. I needed to capture both myself using the camera and the model posing and taking direction. So I did what anyone else would do. I started calling favors and friends, seeing if I could get someone to help me. I tried to hire a second shooter, but they wanted hundreds of dollars for literally like three or four shots. And that is when I discovered this little life hack that changed everything for me. And here it is. 360 cameras are traditionally used to capture 360 content. However, although they film everything around you, the final image does not have to show that. You can reframe 360 degree content to be traditional action camera type framing. You can film absolutely everything around you and then later decide what you want to actually be looking at. This effectively gives you what is comparable to multiple GoPro cameras all shooting simultaneously. My breakthrough came when I first attached my Insta360 X3 to my main camera via an articulate arm. This setup not only allowed me to capture myself operating my camera in a really cool and unique way, but then I could easily reframe the shot to show the model taking direction and doing her poses. I could even zoom out to Little World and show us both working at the same time. That actually brought me to my next realization. This camera was the perfect tool to solve a problem I had had for years. How do I film myself in an engaging way when I have no one around to help me? To build on this idea, this X3 can actually be mounted on a, wait for it, it connects to a 10 foot selfie stick that automatically deletes itself from the footage, which is just ridiculous. It literally allows you to capture shots that just have never been possible before. Now, if you put the selfie stick behind you, you can capture footage that looks like your main character in Grand Theft Auto. It is one of the coolest viewpoints for action sports or just walking around the earth that I have ever seen in my life. Or you can literally stick it straight up above you and get what looks like a top-down drone shot that'll follow you everywhere even if drones are not allowed. One, the camera's small size literally means you can wedge it, mount it, clip it almost anywhere, or even in your teeth. Seriously, that's a thing? It's pretty entertaining. <laughs> anyway, two, creating content for different social media platforms at the same time has never been easier because not only can you reframe your shot, but you can choose what aspect ratio you want it shot in. So if you're shooting a YouTube video, you can choose horizontal nine by 16. But let's say you wanna use that same clip for TikTok. Not a problem. You just re-export it in vertical nine by 16. It literally solves a huge problem of needing to shoot in different aspect ratios at the same time. So we've covered the benefits of having this little gem in your bag with you, but to get the most out of a camera like the Insta360 X3 or any other 360 cameras, Here's a couple best practices that I always follow. One, keep your distance from the camera itself to avoid distortion. This lens has such a large field of view, if you get up close to it, it can do some warpy things. A rule of thumb I choose is I try not to get within a foot and a half of the camera. However, the articulating arm I use to attach this to my camera for photo shoots is only 10 inches long. So it can be done and it can look good. 
but I will be trying to find ways to try to double that length over time so it just looks like someone filming me and no one even knows. I'll keep you updated if I figure anything out. Secondly, you really want to position the sun evenly between the lenses to avoid flooding any one lens with excessive light. Because this image does get stitched together by some computer thing I don't understand, you want both cameras to be getting roughly the same amount of light. The way I choose to do that is I position the side of the camera facing the sun and it's as easy as that. Third, also shoot in the highest resolution possible. I'm personally shooting at 5.7K on the X3 and this is so you have the most flexibility when repositioning your shot. That way you can crop, reposition, and reframe your footage without ever sacrificing sharpness or quality. Three, use the 360 camera to make ordinary events interesting. From my own personal experience, I found that it's actually everyday events and everyday life that look the coolest when you shoot them from a new perspective. And five, keep it in your bag, keep it charged, and when you use it, just have fun. Set the camera, forget it, and just let the moment unfold in front of you. Fair enough, implementing a 360 camera into your everyday workflow should make your life easier and not harder. So in conclusion, I believe having a camera like the Insta360 X3 in your bag will help you revolutionize the way you actually take photos and shoot videos of yourself, all while costing roughly the same as having someone help you for just one day. The unique perspectives this camera gives you alone make it a no-brainer for almost every creator, or at least any that are trying to get an edge on social media or stand out just a little bit, all without relying on anyone else to help you. So if you haven't already, it is probably time to think about maybe investing in a 360 camera. If you can start figuring out creative ways to use it, there's still the possibility that you can capture shots that no one else in the world has captured yet. But we've only scratched the surface of what these incredible things can do and the technology is just still ever evolving. So just keep pushing the boundaries, keep trying to use them in new creative fun ways and I cannot wait to see where this evolves to. So thank you guys for watching. I'd like to thank Insta360 for hearing me out and sponsoring me on this video because obviously I'm passionate about it. I think they make an incredible tool and I think if you knew that you could do this stuff with it, it would be a no-brainer. At least it was for me. So, Insta360, thank you. I genuinely love your product. And if you found this helpful in any way, feel free to like and subscribe. Go ahead and leave all of your mean thoughts and comments right down below in the comment section. I'm sure I'll get to them tonight. But I'll include a link to the camera down in the description in case anyone's curious about finding out more. But stay tuned for more camera tips and tricks coming soon, as well as my wedding video. Yeah, that's coming. I know, I actually did it. But enjoy your week and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.